Well, my memory no. is that I met oh, Jamie right. for the first time at a fundraiser, a, a, a walk. It like was a, a run. A run, sorry. 10K, a um, which I trained for too. Was that the day that it was raining, like pouring it rain? Was there were many disaster. runs. Yes. My husband was diagnosed in 2009 with a, a stage four glioblastoma, and then he died July 20th, 2011. So two years and some change. About a year later, I met Darren, Allison's husband, at the Malnati Brain Tumor Institute. My husband, was Darren, was diagnosed in 2005 in similar kind of fashion to Jay, and he passed away uh, after three total surgeries in May 2019, 14 years later. Well, Jamie has walked with me on this journey from Darren's second surgery, third surgery. She sat in my house with me and cried with me, and understood me in a way that most other people couldn't, and, and I know that wasn't easy for her either. I am so grateful to her that she was able to put her own fears and thoughts aside and like really be there with me, and it was incredibly helpful. Jamie walked with me for about six years. I knew what she was gonna be faced with. Yeah. But I didn't wanna tell her anything, and she'd ask me a thousand questions. I'm somebody who just sort of wanted to always know the worst, and she's like, just take it one day at a time, and when you're ready, I'll tell you. And then when I was ready, mm -hmm. and she knew I was ready, you know, she explained what was gonna happen. If I got it from a doctor, it, it wouldn't have been the same. And I never, ever talked about any of what happened to Jay with anybody. Uh, it's too hard, I've always just buried it. Even my therapist would always say for years, you just gotta talk about it. I'm like, I don't wanna talk about it. She, you know, one day I'll come back to you because I would have these triggers, I'd hear an ambulance. I relived it with her, but for her, I mean, I, it, but it was, uh, it was hard. And it helped so much, it really did. I think now we try to focus on just being there for each other, just like regular friends, and going out to dinner, and mm -hmm. having wine, and talking about boy troubles, and... <laughs> yeah, we still have them. I would say for somebody whose spouse was recently diagnosed with a GBM is to not give up hope because there's so much research that's being done and so many clinical trials. And because I'm on the advisory council at the Brain Tumor Institute, we hear about it. Don't leave any stone unturned. Be your own advocate and surround yourself with a lot of love and support. Find people that have been through it and because we all need people like Jamie in our lives that are guides because you really can't do it alone.